Summer is in session at Icon Park. Welcome back for Season 2, Episode 9 of Summer Sessions, a Carlton Media preseason podcast, as they're already snickering. I'm your host, Christian Filippo. Julian Wallace is back on producing duties again today, and we've been weighing up all week on how to back up from last week's big guest. We had senior coach Michael Voss, and we thought the best way to do that was having two guests instead of one, and um, they were unanimously voted as the <laughs> iconic duo at Icon Park. We're not entirely sure what that means. Um, I'm sure we'll get into it. It's very exciting to welcome Tom DeConing and Matthew Cottrell to the show, two of the biggest fans of Summer Sessions. Welcome, boys. Thanks yeah. for having us. Thanks for having us. Big fan of the show, so about time we got on. You mentioned that Pito was your favourite guest all time? Yeah, Pito. Yeah. Um, just Pito. Just Pito? Nah. Like Tom? Pito's yeah, work. Pito for sure. Yeah. Best ever. Big Pito fans. Well, you know what the first question is as well, even though you came in unprepared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was it? Tom first. What's your go-to karaoke song? Um, I'd probably say me and Parks, you just watched um, a movie called 500 Days of Summer. Have you seen it? Don't think so. Uh, he sings um, Here Comes Your Man by the Pixies. That's so the one? Go that one. Yeah. Nice. Um, Better Man, Pearl Jam. Not better man, Robbie Williams? Nah, that's why I said it. <laughs> that's bad by you, Tom. Yeah, I probably should have picked some other songs. <laughs> yeah. um, well, we'll get into the question. We'll get into the footy chat early because I feel like you don't want to talk, do too much footy chat. We'll get over and done with. Um, we open by mentioning Vossi and this is being recorded on Thursday afternoon. So pretty exciting news came early today. I guess, King, uh, you first. How excited are you that um, both Michael Voss and Brian Cook are going to be continuing in their respective roles beyond this year? Yeah, pumped. Um, probably doesn't come as much of a shock. Um, the things he's done for the club in, in the space of two years and, um, you know, the way he's um, created such a good culture and, um, you know, such a steady, you know, uh, having such a steady leadership going into the future is, is really important. And, um, yeah, it's, it's there's a real big excitement around the club for what he can do for the next three years, I think it is. Yeah. And Cotters, you're, I guess, in and out of the side before um, Vossi came in. I guess, what's he done for you and your football since his arrival at the footy club? Yeah, I um, love what King said there, but what Vossi's sort of done for me personally is um, just backed me in each week. Um, he asked nothing more than just to play to my strength, which is my running, and he, he's got a pretty good role for me that I've um, locked down for the past sort of two years, and hopefully I can keep playing that role for the team. It's been good. Um, Vossi mentioned on the AFL website last week that you were in his good books as well because you got him to meet Robbie Williams again. Uh, <laughs> must be nice to have the coach on site for a few more years. I reckon that was all him, to be honest. <laughs> Half the, yeah, when we went and met him, I think um, he only wanted, really wanted to chat to Vossi anyway. So, yeah, he's a big fan of Vossi. So, um, yeah, very lucky. We'll get to the Robbie Williams chat now. And then we'll park it. <laughs> Yeah, uh, how's good. life changed for you since post <laughs> oh, serenade in September? Life is great. <laughs> <laughs> He's put me on the map, that's for sure. Nah, it's um, yeah, it was a bit of a bit of excitement, obviously, with that that song that he um, that he made after that game, and um, yeah, obviously a huge opportunity to be able to meet him, and obviously he's a bit of a superstar. So, um, a few of us boys got to meet him before a show, a couple shows, and yeah, he's just a big footy fan, really. He just loves Carlton. Um, he almost knew more than me, to be honest. He was asking us about our draftees and, um, you know, how what our game plan was this year to Vossi and, yeah, all this sort of stuff. So, yeah, he's really excited for this year. Yeah, even knew your old man played footy. Yeah. He must have done his research. Because yeah. yeah. I think one of the things he said, he's like, oh, I thought you were going to St Kilda. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, nah, mate, never. We won't go into that. Yeah. Um, Cotters, I guess you'll be the best judge of this. Has he changed? Has he changed big time. Or is he yeah. still humble Tom? Nah, he's not a humble Tom anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, he's reckons he's got his phone number and he texts him most days. Sent him happy birthday the other day. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I was lucky enough to tag along and, and meet Robbie as well, which was very good. Don't have his phone number though? Nah, not quite. He's not major. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, one person who we know is not changing is Charlie Curno, even despite being <laughs> vice captain of the footy club. Big Essentially, call. he's the leader of the forward line. Big call, maybe. Um, yeah. You're excited to see how it all worked with him leading from, from the front? Yeah, definitely. He's always been a bit of a group leader. So um, for him to get that role um, in the club, it's it's awesome. And yeah, I'm sure not much will change. It's, um, you know, it's with Ed coming out last year, I think it's good to have someone like Charlie to have that. Um, you know, he's got different views on the game. He obviously leads a lot by example and um, people follow him. So uh, yeah, really excited for him to lead the club going and, forward. And Charlie, I guess, is that 
leader of the forwards. Do you consider yourself in that group officially? Forwards? Yeah. Yeah, and part of the, we call ourselves Carnies. Um, yeah. Definitely part of that group now. And um, yeah, love to see see Charlie put his hand up and want to be a leader. Um, I think he'll do really well. Feel like people still call you a wingman, but you're happy to be a high half forward these days? Um, yeah, just part-time winger now. <laughs> just whenever Blake needs a rest, or yep. I'll chip in there, but nah, full-time Carney. What about you, mate? Are you a part-time Carney? Part-time Carney, yep. yeah, we'll say part-time. Uh, <laughs> spend a lot of time uh, with the mids group, but always good to join the forwards. They're a bit more fun, I think. <laughs> well, you mentioned adding strings to your bow earlier this year. I guess, what's your pre-season look like in terms of, in terms of your split? Yeah, I think it's been a lot more, um, a lot more balanced this year. Being able to go forward, work with Charlie and Harry a fair bit more, and um, but also being able to keep working on my ruck craft, my connection with the mids. So yeah, been been really well balanced this preseason. And another preseason for you, mate. Number six, which Sam Walsh mentioned, um, feels like time really has flown. Do you ever cast your mind back to I guess when it all started and when you got that news back on the Sunshine Coast that day? Yeah, um, I saw some videos. Of, I think it was. Yeah, it would have been five years ago the other day. But, um, yeah, it's just crazy whirlwind for the first sort of few months. Um, and, yeah, it took a little while to settle in and sort of find my straps and continue to get better. But, um, yeah, been loving it. And, yeah. Am I right in saying that was a bit of a whirlwind day for you? Were you getting scans on your knee after that training session that day? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> it was just early in the sort of warm-up sort of kicking drills. Will Setterfield falls across my leg and I sort of twist it up. Um, I don't know if I heard anything, but it sort of felt like I'd done something bad to my knee, yep. hobbled off. Um, the club was sort of rushing me to get scans to find out what's happening. Um, and luckily enough, it was just a bit of bone bruising or something. And um, yeah, got s- found out why they were so urgent to <laughs> figure out about my knee. But um, yeah, it was a whirlwind day for sure. And you've been stuck with them ever since? Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> won't leave. <laughs> well, you're the best place person to answer this. What yeah. is life like with the man on my right, um, Matty Cottrell? Does he oh. spend his time, like spare time, scheming at home, like about players in the locker room, or <laughs> he's, what are you going to do the next? Does he ever switch off, or is he always on the go? Yeah, he does switch off. I think he, um, he spends a lot of energy at the club, as you'd know. So, yeah. as everyone would know, yeah, bit of a practical joker. Um, always thinks he's the funniest in the room. <laughs> Often is. So, is he right now? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. sometimes. Yeah, but he lets you know when he's yeah. when he's on. Yeah. Uh, no, nah, but yeah. To be honest, we get home and especially pre-season, we crash a bit. I don't think we might, as we we're saying before, like we like sitting on the couch and watching reels and yeah. <laughs> not we'll talking to each couples. other, <laughs> sending to each other but not saying anything. So <laughs> we can do that for a few hours. But yeah, no, nah, I love living with him. We get along really well. It's Is good. this the most you've spoken to each other? Yeah, yeah. probably. At it's any nice point. to speak yeah. to him. <laughs> <I think so. laughs> Seems like a good bloke. <laughs> um, well, you mentioned the practical joke side of things. You mentioned this a long time ago and we brought it up with Nick Newman when he was on the show a few weeks ago. Yeah. Um, you were the one who called him Grew in a relatively Grew. recent interview from uh, Despicable Me. Um, yeah. Care to explain? You mentioned um, he's got his minions that do his dirty work for him. Yeah. Are you one of those minions? I was, I was but I've yeah. sort of broken off. Yeah, you graduated. My home, yeah, sort of terms and, and <laughs> branching out of my own yeah. stuff. But, Flourishing. Um, yeah. Knew he's definitely grew. He's got his ears to the floor, um, finds out all the, the goss and will feed his minions. Matty Owies and was Josh Honey, but um, yep. Matt Carroll now <laughs> feeds them some information and, and, and they pick on blokes and nip at the heels of other blokes so it's pretty funny to watch you've said Matt Carroll there <laughs> I don't know who that is he goes by a different name these days doesn't he oh Jeff, Jeff. yeah Jeff, Jeff. snooze <laughs> we're gonna need some insight here Tom um oh it's pretty self-explanatory but he <laughs> he falls asleep a lot with the, the young fellow he, um, he's a bit gassed yeah early days especially he'd, um you get pretty tired at training and you'd catch him dozing off in meetings and Sometimes at training and <laughs> <laughs> no, tra- mainly in meeting. I think we had a meeting down, just down then. Time, and he was, yeah. he was um, dozing off a little bit, me. but yeah, he's he's probably fixed that up a little bit now, which is good. But um, early days, he was he was pretty bad on that, and everyone knows him as Jeff now. It's good, <laughs> as in wake up, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, nice. exactly right. Works itself perfectly. Yeah, um, and I hear Carlos is trying to take off for Ashton Moyer. That's a, that's a Jordan Russell thing. <laughs> Have you heard this? <laughs> nah, Jordan heard. Russell makes it seem yeah. like it is. Oh, does he? Well and truly taking off. Yeah, I don't know. He's sort of gone on his own there. I've 
heard much with the Carlos, but he's well, Carlos more of the old tennis player, so oh, I think that's, that's where right. he's getting yeah, it from. And he's right. really excited about it. I could he's, kick off. Yeah, he might need to let us know about it though, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or anybody else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess what about life away from footy for you, mate? I guess what do you get up to when you can? Um, yeah, I think I I really enjoy spending a lot of time down the coast with family. Um, most of my family's down in Torquay now and um, a lot of my mates are down on the Mornington Peninsula so I've kind of got the best of both worlds with that in that regard and um, yeah, love my surfing, try and get down there at least once a week, um, be with my family and mates and go for a surf to clear the head, that's the main thing for me. And you've got a new recruit to the surfing ranks and he comes from Ireland. That's it, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Rob, yeah. I'm not sure how that works. Actually, I found out today that he used to be a lifeguard, so right. yeah, he does know he does know a lot. Um, yeah, he does a lot of work in the water, which is good. And um, yeah, I've surfed with him a couple of times, and yeah, he goes all right. It's good. And what about you, Cotters, mate? You've done a bit of work with Waterbility as well outside of the club, I guess. What yep. does that involve? And yeah, what yeah. do you, what do you do it? Um, it was sort of last year when I was injured at the start of the year. Um, March, he sort of said, "This is something." will be good for you to do sort of um uh, break up your sort of week and just disability support work sort of so you choose as much or as little as as you want and um yeah you sort of just go out and spend the day with some kids and, and have some fun it's it's pretty good yeah i'll get a lot out of it i'll probably get more out of it than the kids which is nice <laughs> but, um yeah it gets me outside and doing some fun stuff and still continuing to do that even after like post injury yeah yeah definitely um been a little bit slack this pre-season it's probably been the toughest preseason I've done so um, as we said clunk out on the couch a lot but um, definitely in season mode I'll be I'll be um, yeah booking some days in to get out there that's not all you do outside of the game I guess in terms of your social media um, yeah. there were a few TikTok dancers which have fallen by the wayside <laughs> um, but now is it safe to say that your preferred um, I guess platform of social media is actually LinkedIn yeah um, that was again last year when I was injured <laughs> had a lot of energy to do. yeah i think i got off instagram because i spent too many time too much time on reels and then i went to linkedin and um yeah trying to find some work outside of footy and a job opened up at carlton as a media manager or something and well applied we'll, for that we'll, we'll, we'll get to that oh we'll get, we'll, we'll get to, you do have a nice you do have a nice headshot on there though the yeah official, yeah is that from afl photos as well did you come in on team photo day with the suit yeah with the suit yeah. chuck that on for for linkedin and yeah it's worked wonders got it for free as well beautiful yeah people pay for that <laughs> um well i guess how would you rate cotters i guess vlogging or video editing skills oh, pretty good he's been doing it since i think i okay. remember We've obviously grew up together in um, well, the same area. I remember seeing videos of Cots when we were younger. So, what kind of, like, <laughs> yeah, just like I think before TikTok, there was something called um, Musically. Musically, yep. So he was <laughs> he was all about that. So that's where all these videos are yep. surfacing from, which is great. Um, and there's also a YouTube video from when he was younger on the trampoline. I don't we'll know let, if you've seen that one. Let the viewers try and find that one. <laughs> yeah. I think we've got it somewhere. You got it? So yeah. It has to be somewhere. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. didn't Mossy play before, before, a, yeah. before a game one day? Game. I, I don't know. Magic Matt Cottrell search that on, <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know what he sort of related that back to, but yeah, they got to run for a game, yeah. which is nice. Do you want to talk us through it or let the viewers find it themselves? I'll let the viewers find okay. it and... Yeah. We'll go from there. It's pretty good, yeah. Well, it's a great reference from you. Um and there's a reason I ask, because last year we actually had a video producer role open up here in the Carlton Media team, and actually Rebecca Villado is in the room, and yeah. she was a successful applicant, and she's doing an amazing Beautiful. job. Um, yeah, yeah. But there was one applicant that stood out, or a candidate that stood out, that made it all the way to our PNC team. Here we go. Um, young man looking to, I guess, broaden his horizons in the digital landscape. Yeah. It's Matthew Cottrell, <laughs> video producer of the Carlton Football Club. Yeah. Just missed out? Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> Sent my resume off. Yep. But, um, Do you want to run through what your resume was? I, I can't remember. It was I think, so it, was, I think it was a driver's license or something. Yeah, wasn't it? yeah. Some, <laughs> I think there were some forms I had to do for what ability <laughs> that were just there. And I just like, yep, sent that off and yep. didn't hear back. But no <laughs> interview, get no interview, interview nothing? nothing. Nah, so. That might have been an administration error. We'll get to the bottom of that. You reckon he would go well on the part of our team? He'd be all right. I don't know how he'd interview though. <laughs> no. Wear a suit to the interview. Yeah, that's spot on, mate. Should get you the job. <laughs> would gear up um well i guess you've touched on this before who's currently leading the race of applicants for um matthew always and his his partner in crime because josh honey's departed yeah and i always mentioned before that there are a few that are putting their hand up to take that title um i feel like yeah. it's in a similar crew to that 
kind of Nick Newman and his minions, but yeah. mm. anyone that, are, that you can see putting put their hands up for... Have to be Matty Cottrell. Uh, Matty Cottrell. Matty Cottrell. Matty Cottrell. <laughs> <laughs> Matty nah, Carroll. probably Matty Carroll, yeah. I reckon, for I can sure. see Rob as well. Yeah. The Irish bloke. Yeah, Rob. Yeah. I can see him, yeah, being a good minion. I, I feel like awesome. Cow and Binsy are kind of setting up their oh. own rat pack as well. Is that... Yeah, no one wants to be in with Binsy. Okay. Binsy's... Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's bad news. He's like, do you want to expand or just... We'll leave it at that. We'll <laughs> it. He's bad news. Stay away from him. Yeah. But you're putting Maddie Carroll with Maddie. Yeah, Maddie Carroll's good. Yeah. Yeah. Skevy's good. boys. Yeah. Look after each other. I feel like he's getting a bit of a cult following here amongst the playing group. <laughs> Normally, it's you get a cult following amongst the, the fans, but yeah, I feel no, like everyone's getting the, around the man known as Jeff. The boys do get around him. He's um he's very good value around the around the club, and um the good thing is he when he goes and trains, he trains well and does a few good things, which is good to see from the young fella and um. He's got good skills on him and, and goes hard, so that's what we love to see. There was one session where I think he did a one-on-one stuff with some with Matty Bode yeah. after a particularly big session, and he was in all sorts. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Must have missed that one. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think you were in all sorts as well. Yeah. Everybody was. Yeah. Um, yeah. But Carlton Sporter, Matty Carroll was. Beautiful. Matty Cottrell was as well. We love yeah. that. Cottrell. <laughs> you? Uh, one time Carlton Sporter? was, yeah once, yeah. once upon a time. Um, what happened? I think... So when I was born, I was put straight into a Carlton, Carlton Guernsey. And As you should. Yeah, which Absolutely. is yeah, which was great. Um, some of the best years of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think yeah, I got to I got to Oz kick and um, I really like I really love watching Nick Rewalt play. Um, I had a we played for Mount Martha who was St Kilda colours, so I had a Mount Martha jumper with the number twelve on the back. Yeah, um, yeah kind of. Just, I kind of looked a little bit like yeah. him and looked up to him. So when yeah, I was no really, choice, yeah. yeah, when I was really young, I changed the Saints. But my brother Sam was actually always, always a Carlton Carlton fan. And yeah. Um, yeah, when I got drafted, he was stoked and I think he wanted to come here, but got stitched up. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, would you love a jumper number story here? So obviously you've got the number 12 now as well. Did you request it when you walked in? Was it just given to you? Like, how'd that all work out? Yeah, no, I actually, yeah, I didn't request it at all. I just, yeah, I was just given it. Um, I think we were very lucky that year. We got... I think we had um, Lockie O'Brien, who was number four, Paddy Dow, number two. There were a lot of good yeah, numbers good open. Numbers, yeah. yeah, so, and I think I was literally just the third third picked and- um, Third lowest number. Got Yeah, got lucky with number 12. So I was stoked, yeah. And um, what about you, mate? Obviously number 46. Yeah. I do have this on very good authority that you have been offered in yeah. recent seasons to- A couple of times, yeah. Well, let's, we won't say upgrade your number, because that's disrespectful nah. to the 46, but nah. to change numbers. And I think your grandfather's number- 32 was available and yeah what was your response uh, i did think about it um it was probably the end of 2022 and 32 was free and i sort of thought i hadn't played too many games in yeah. um 46 so i was sort of thinking about it I remember telling dad dad's like yeah go for it pop will love it but um no nah, i think i um bought enough jumpers for nieces and nephews with 46 yeah. on the back so i've um and played yeah more than 50 now in the 46 it'd be nice to see uh, my name on the locker after 100 hopefully so um, there's no one there yet so that'll be good that's a variation of what I was told when you what said if- all the nieces and nephews you said what about all the kids in the 46 <laughs> yeah <laughs> that sounds about right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah big Matty Wright fans maybe <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah you had obviously had the the op- opportunity to move but thought yeah. you wanted to kind of create your own history in, yeah. in that number yeah yeah um, probably a good reflection as well of sort of where I sort of come from um we last on the list at, uh, in 2019 there so um yeah I don't know it feels like home now number 46 good spot in the locker too um, away from everybody or? side big Merc yep and always which is good so and nobody on nice. your right no one on my right yep. which is nice um obviously you do have a significant family connection to the club mate um your pop Link Hotchel played for Carlton was a yep. teammate of Sergio Savani's which I feel like is always a little yeah. bit weird when your grandfather's play uh, uh, together. Um, yeah. It must be amazing for you to follow in his footsteps. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, hearing that he sort of stays up late and watch games and stuff, and and he, yeah, he really loves it. So it's pretty. I don't know how it happened, but so lucky to to end up at the Blues, and yeah, love it. Um, you've also got a significant family connection to the Carlton Football Club. No. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yeah. Who? Jackie DeConing and Carlton Media. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> What's it like when you're scrolling through your, your reels you at go. home and, 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 and Jackie pops up on Carlton's social media channels? It's probably cringe. <laughs> probably no worse feeling, really. <laughs> I, yeah. So that's, well, that's what guys hands from you. Probably the closest I get to deleting the Instagram app, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, nah, she definitely loves being in front of the camera, that's for sure. And um, More than you? Less than you? Way more than me, as you know. <laughs> it, was a, it was a task getting you here, Yeah, exactly. I'm you're here. Lucky I'm here, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, yeah, she loves it. She loves it a bit too much and gets a bit carried away, so we need to keep her away if possible. Thanks, mate. Um, yeah, look, we'll make that decision. <laughs> it's kind of out of your hands. Nice. Um, yeah. But I dare say she'll be appearing on Carlton Media Channels more than this next man I'm going to talk about. David Cunningham. <laughs> I don't think we've ever got him, ever. Uh, did an RSN <laughs> chat recently. Nothing for Carlton Media. We've asked him for two years to do this podcast. We're running out of time to get him on this season as well. Um, we're doing everything in our power to make it happen. But in the meantime, I guess, do you two have anything on him that yeah. we can use for if you ever... One little up? story. Yep. Yeah. Last year, I went to um, Harry Potter the Musical. Yep. Um, I was going around the Cursed Child. And um, I was sitting pretty close, and he's actually working backstage for Harry Potter the Musical. Was he? Yeah, he's moving props around and stuff in yeah. between sets. So <laughs> there you go. It wasn't a look like it was actually him. That no, was actually David. I spoke to him at the club and said, "Yeah, he's a big Harry Potter fan." Yeah, I think. That's what yeah, he's yeah. doing outside of footy. Must be on work experience or something. Yeah, <laughs> keep him busy. Yeah, cool. That definitely happened. That definitely, yeah, yeah. 100%. Um, and we'll, we'll use it when you get on the show. Yeah, I, yeah I heard something as well. <laughs> go on, yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah. I heard once he was driving and he, he saw the cops were speeding and he pulled them over and gave them a ticket. <laughs> Maddie, Connor, Maddie Carey got those kind of comments when he saw it. But now it's David Cunningham because we've got yeah, nothing else on him. No, so we'll just, we, we'll just make honest, stuff up. We know as much as you, mate. Yeah. We don't know much about him. Yeah. <laughs> No one's seen the inside of his apartment for <laughs> six years. <laughs> Pretty sure it's a lair. <laughs> yeah. Well, the Horror Kits account? Ooh, I don't that know his? who runs that. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. No comment on does, that one. Does make an appearance on it, David Cunningham, quite a few times. But yeah, whoever runs it, not be him, then. Yeah, whoever runs him. it does a really good job. Yeah, whoever runs it's doing pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we'll touch on... We'll go back to you first, mate. Um, unlike your mate over here, you stayed a current supporter, I guess, your whole life. Yeah. Um, we asked a few people this. We asked Vossi this last week as well. I guess who are your top three Carlton players from when you were growing up? And is, is David Cunningham one of them? Nah, kind of misses out. out. Yep. Just. Um, I don't want to just give sort of generic answers here, but yep. I like probably my first player I liked was Matthew Lappin. Yep. Just Good number. Of his name. Great number. Great yeah. number two. Yep. Good highlight reel. Um, and sort of once I grew, grew up and... Um, liked sort of my running I liked Chris Yaron too yeah great highlight reel too good to watch pre-game um, yep. and Kate Simpson I'll chuck him in there he's awesome yeah you got any three from the two weeks you were a current supporter um, Will Setterfield yeah <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to have Matthew Cruiser yeah Cruz yep. yeah Adrian DeLuca DeLukes Barnaby French <laughs> Mark Porter French <laughs> Mark Frenchy. Porter Mark Big Porter yeah. Kane Ackland yeah Kane Ackland <laughs> yeah can't forget him <laughs> <laughs> who else? Who else we have? Matty Loeb. Matt, well, he actually probably would, would be one of your top three, wouldn't yeah, he? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Top 100%. one. <laughs> Flipper. Big Andrew Phillips. Yep. But yeah, we've had a few rucks come through. It's a good top good. three. Yeah, great top three. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you been on the receiving end of any white line fever from Mark Pitnett this pre-season? Or does he, does he, does he, does he look after his ruckman? <laughs> yeah, no. He, yeah. yeah, I think I think so. Yeah. yeah. We, we do look after each other a little yeah. bit. But um, no, I haven't been on the end of you, Cots. Nah, Matt Kennedy. I sort of stay away from him, but yeah, I remember yeah. yeah. No, they're, they're, they're the two. Chugger got done last year. Yeah, yeah, Probably that's big, right. Big angry yeah. Pitto, but yeah. Well, I think yeah. we've mentioned this, but Pitto got him. Apologised to him. <laughs> Cripper got him. Apologised to him. While she got him, apologised to him. Going, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's he's always the one who gets apologised to. So I don't think he's ever in the wrong. But yeah, they just he's got a target on his back, does he? He does. Yeah. 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 So you'll be in life in general. I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we'll move on to pre-season cliches. We're just about done here. And thank you for your time. I, yeah. d I did mention it was hard getting you here, but I thoroughly <laughs> we'll, enjoyed we'll having you. We'll bang the door down, won't we? To try and get Love on. to say it's a pleasure. Um, <laughs> the opposite to that. <laughs> is, and, and you well and truly know that we'll camp outside the locker room for about 15 minutes there, <laughs> just to make sure you're actually going to do this. But pre-season cliches. Um, we're well and truly at the business end of, of the summer now. Um, games starting from next week. But I guess, you know, the classic, who's been flying, who's set for more midfield time. Um <laughs> Who's impressing you? What's impressing you? Just 
Matty bit, bit of time to pump up your team, mate. Yeah. Matty Carroll? Yeah. Fine. Um, Can you mention someone else who's not Matty Carroll on this show? No. Matty Carroll? <laughs> <laughs> who's been Dave Cunningham's training the house down. Um, that's looking that's one for more thing, midfield minutes, I think. Yep. So um, he's one to watch. Elijah Hollands too. I'll chuck him yeah, in there. Elijah's yep. been training really well. Clean, clean. Um, runs well. Are they both? Hard. Are they both carnies or are they? Is Elijah like where's? where's they don't his? rock up to meetings. But, yeah, they um, think they're mids. Yeah, they they want to be mids. Yep. but Can't get midfield time, so they're <laughs> carnies, but they don't want to be carnies. Um, Top floaters. Yeah. Um, oh, a few of the young boys, I guess. So love like look at of Ashton. Um, yep. Carlos. Yeah, Carlos. <laughs> Colin Carlos. Um, yeah, he's been training really well. He's really clean as well and um, really good skills. So been liking the look of him. Um, probably should say someone from the midfield, shouldn't I? Billy Wilson, I'll chuck him in there too. Just the young His, his speed. <laughs> yep. um, yeah, he'd be going to watch this year, I think, Ooh, for the fans. Love, love the Stingrays boys. Stingrays boys, got to look after him. Yep. Not Binzy, though. Yeah. Lost. <laughs> you don't want us to give you the, the generic Sam Walsh's and that sort of thing. No, just, just do it. Yeah, right, Sammy, Sammy Walsh. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I will touch on Stingray stuff. What's in the water at Mount Martha? Oh, yeah. There wasn't a lot oh, no. coming yeah. out of there, man. <laughs> you, Newey, and Weeders. Whitfield. Yeah, we've had a few actually. Uh, no, we'll, go, we'll go the Carlton uh, boys. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. It's um, we're all very lucky to be playing together, I think. And yeah, there's more where that came from. Critter, there was yeah, Hunter Clark as well, Lockie Whitfield, Sam, my brother. Yep. Um, yeah, we breed them well down there, mate. So they're folded um, now, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> I think they have. <laughs> nah, we won't touch on that. <laughs> well, I was going to ask. You got the weathering win. Weathering wing and the Whitfield wing. Like, yeah. What's? Do you have any oh, real estate down there? Bench. The, yeah, that's a catty <laughs> bench. <laughs> <I reckon. laughs> oh, that could the be rock me. bag. Yeah. The rock <laughs> bag. <laughs> um, well, well, we'll finish off on a wholesome note. Um, we ask everyone the same final question on this show. I'll go you first, and then follow up to you. Mm. Tom, why do you play football? <laughs> Yeah, it's a serious question. You weren't expecting. Why is it serious? It's a serious question. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to give a generic answer on this thing, but we're all hey, we, we're all about preseason cliches. It's fine. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Living a dream. Right, playing for my mates. best preseason yeah. cliche. Yeah. So since I was born, I've just always <laughs> loved kicking the footy around, and me old man played back in the day, and <laughs> was just always outside with my brothers, practicing my skills, <laughs> honing in on the craft, and. Just found a love with it from when I was younger. But no one's ever said that before. <laughs> <laughs> no, really? <laughs> well, that was perfect. Well, 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 now you can't do any of what he said. Oh, that's actually what I was thinking. Um, <laughs> nah, I think my older brothers growing up, they made me fall in love with the game. So, um, yeah, i got nieces and nephews and hopefully I can do the same for them and make them fall in love with the game as well. So, And a whole number of, lot of number 46s on the back hopefully of the Hopefully we see yeah, a few more this season. Yeah. That'd be nice. That wasn't too bad, was it? Got was through. Okay. Got through. Got through. Survived. We've done, we've done it now. Well it's done. Good. You really built this up. It was okay, wasn't it? So, we just don't like being out there too much. We love to stay under the radar a bit. No reels. Does, you know. I don't want to see myself in a reel. Yeah, no reels. <laughs> Plenty of reels. <laughs> <laughs> you promised no reels. So. I, I did not say any of anything of the sort. Well, Claire promised no reels. Anyway. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>